Hi everyone, Nathan here from Mighty Lancer Games. This past weekend I went to Hull to take part in the City of the Damned Timheim event, which was a fantastic Mordheim uh, narrative weekend of play. So we, uh, we played eight fantastic games of Mordheim over the weekend. Uh, my friends and I went to uh, Spider's Nightclub on Saturday night and got absolutely drunk and danced like lunatics. And uh, here is a little video to show you some of the gameplay and uh, the models which I used to play at the event. Here are my warband that I used at the event. Uh, I used some fan-made rules which are Bretonian Brigands. Uh, only I've decided that they are Hobgoblin Brigands uh, because I really like these models and they were the one the rules that I thought had the most flavour. Uh, approved by the event organiser. Here, uh, here is my leader. He is a Scarface, Pierre. He, uh, he is a hideously scarred individual whose warriors follow him through fear. Here is his first in command. This is Bertrand, a fallen noble, a knight of the realm who has fallen on hard times and dropped in with this group of desperados. Uh, this is Gregor. He is a hard man, as uh, in the rules. Um, or Captain Pink Pants, as one of my opponents dubbed him. Um, he... <laughs> He is just a uh, particularly hard fighter. Uh, next to him is Alan. Uh, he is also a uh, hideously scarred individual who is a little bit sneaky and uh, stabby with his sword and dagger. Next to him is Guy. Guy is a poacher who was elevated from the ranks to become a hero. And uh, this chap on the end here, he is Duncan, also elevated from the ranks by the rolling on the lads got talent result. Uh, he was previously just a regular schleb, but now a hero. Here are the schlebs, the, uh, the bulk of my warband. So these three chaps here on the right hand side, they are poachers. Uh, they are ballistic skill four archers. Uh, pretty handy, uh, although they do uh, you end up paying ultimately for the extra point of ballistic skill. These two guys in the middle are just regular brigands with axes and shields. And these two chaps here on the left or right as you're looking at it, uh, sword and shield, armed brigands, just regular human profiles, uh, standard warriors. And, uh, and this is my whole warband that have served me well over the weekend. Um, I won three games out of eight played and just had an amazingly fun time. Played loads of different people that I've never met before and it was just absolutely awesome. On to the gameplay. Here's some of the terrain. So this is a fantastic dungeon sewer board. This is uh, full of cages, details like this fantastic room full of skulls with a blood pool in the middle. In the center of the board is a uh, little tomb area with a load of uh, cat sarcophaguses around it. There's cages everywhere, skulls everywhere, debris everywhere. Uh, it's absolutely awesome. Uh, fought Skaven on this board and did actually win my game, forced them to uh, flee. And uh, that was a, a pretty cool moment, a, a little win for this first game of the event. This is another amazing looking terrain board, lots of height, different multi-levels. Uh, going on here this is uh, full of bridges and stuff so in this this was my game two we had a, a surprise game where zombies started moving onto the board visibility was low you've got to imagine that there's fog everywhere here's another amazing board this uh, this was manufactured by the organizer Ken some amazing buildings on here a lot of uh, I think it's tabletop world or tabletop workshop buildings lots of these uh, are sectional oh this board I didn't actually get to play on this board but this board looks amazing with the sunken ship in the river uh, some of these buildings are movable on the board and some of the parts of the board are fixed so you can change it up a little bit if you need to that fantastic ruined bridge in the build in the middle this is that board that uh, that Ken made this is a multiplayer game between myself Ken and uh, another player Matthew so my guys started off in the corner uh, we've got Skaven over here where we're looking now and there's some Sisters of Sigma on the right hand side on the bridge there there's Veskit the leaping little Skaven on the bridge he is an absolute monster 
took out about half my warband single-handedly. Again, some of the buildings are uh, have removable lids and what have you, so you can get inside. Uh, there's a, a built-in little dice uh, roller into the uh, section of the board, which is fantastic. A lot of thought going into this. There's an extension going to be built, I understand. Played a couple of games on this board. I think this uh, this may be the second game that I played against some Ostlanders. Yes, I believe uh, that's the one, which was a great game on the second day. Here's another quick overview of that fantastic river board. I thought it looked absolutely awesome. There was a couple that I didn't get to play on. There's a, an amazing looking Colosseum board with some uh, crashed and uh, dead horses and chariots and sort of skeletal remains. Lots of uh, statues and stuff. Played a, a, another game on this amazing dungeon board. This was the third game on the second day. I played against uh, an undead warband with a vampire. One of my guys was a particular hero in this game. Captain Pink Pants, we mentioned earlier. Took out the vampire, a direwolf, and a zombie single-handedly in this game. Again, some fantastic scenery. Some of this is the uh, Pegasus Hobbies ruins uh, that we sell at Mighty Lancer Games. This amazing board. This was one of my favourites. I really wanted to play on this. So this... Uh, is a carnival of chaos so these tent areas the green one here the red one there uh, they both have roofs that are removable as we've taken them off so we can move the things around inside this is absolutely awesome terrain hope that we may see you at a future event uh, check out city of the damned mordheim uh, and uh, follow mighty lancer games for more mordheim content thank you very much everybody for watching